Hi guys, this is Dave from Dave's Vintage Apple Tech. And I want you to take a look at that little icon right up there. This power book is running on its own battery power now. As you can see that cell, it's fully recharged. We're pretty close to it anyway, I should say. And uh, yes, we got the batteries finally to work. And I will show you what we had to do to get them to fire up. Be back in 10 seconds. Hi guys, so we finally got the battery fixed on this thing and I want to show you basically how we got it to, to work. And uh, it's something that whenever you rebuild a battery pack, whether it's a lithium battery pack or a nickel hydrite or metal hydrite battery pack, what we were talking about last week was there's a chip on there, it's got ROM on it. And what happens is when these packs are totally drained and disassembled, uh, sometimes uh, that chip will turn itself off. So the way to reactivate it, to uh, basically switch it on, is you have to apply power to it. And I really appreciate one of the viewers out there, uh, his name is Steven Smythe, I'll leave a link to his channel. Uh, he had said that he had seen a video on how to uh, reset your laptop lithium battery pack after you rebuild it. So I went to it, the link, he left a link on my comment, and I went to the YouTube site, and I'll leave a link on my channel, Wayne Siler Tech. And uh, he has a video on how he does it. Apparently he does all kinds of things. Uh, he has like a little workbench, and he shows you how to reset these things, and even how to uh, bypass diffuses, which are very dangerous because, as like he said, that bypasses the whole safety system and you could actually burn your house down or something else or even worse. So anyway, um, I am just very grateful for uh, Stephen Smythe. Thank you very much for your uh, guidance uh, to this channel uh, because I would still be pulling my hair out if I had not found this. So anyway, um, as you can see, this is on battery power, see? No cords. It is an official laptop again. It's not tethered to anything. I'm going to zoom in here. And if you look on this thing here, let me uh, just uh, get off of that. So I've, I've been playing with this thing for a while. I've had it running for a while. And um, I was going to try to show you the uh, battery indicator down here. Now that's showing it's about half about halfway, uh, or a little above halfway, I should say. Oh, oh there, it's going up. All right, so it's, it's, there it goes, it's going up now. Okay, good. Because I, I did charge this thing, and but I was playing with it for quite a while. So, it, so you look at this little battery indicator, it says it's pretty full. And then if you look up here on this icon over here, I'm trying to get the camera here, Right there, that's the battery. It's all, all the cells are filled up with red. And uh, so that means it's fully charged. And uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's really nice that we got this thing working. All of our effort was not in vain. So basically I did everything right. Just, you, know, you just have to know how to reset it. So I will show you the easiest method to reset it when you do a battery pack rebuild. So basically what we're going to do is uh, pretend this is not turned on. What you're going to do is you're going to plug your wall charger, okay? Let me just zoom out here. You're going to plug your wall charger into your laptop, and that will be plugged into the AC outlet. And then what you do is you insert your battery pack, and then you turn your computer on. Let it boot up. Pull the charger off and it's still running you reset the battery you can pull it out put it in it powers right up every time uh, the other way is I'm going to move this out of the way just a little bit the other way is say that we're going to pretend this is our rebuilt battery pack here okay we're going to mock it all up here 
Okay, here we go. All right. So let's say this is it right here. Okay. And so what he said was to this is a brand new battery pack. It's already charged. The cells are already charged. It's all put together. We'll just kind of put that on there just for demonstration purposes here. Okay, so we'll print it. That's all put together. So he said the other method, if that didn't work, is to take basically this is the hot, these this is a hot, and this is also another part of the hot side here. But when we redid this battery, we had hot here, negative here. This is the plus and negative terminal. Um, so what he said is you take oh, just a wire, put on the plus side of the battery, and then touch it on the plus side of the terminal, and then also do the second one. And he says usually that will also reset it. Or you can go on the negative side of the battery and do the same. There's a negative and then on the negative side there. Okay. And that's no way of resetting it. But luckily we only had to do it with the actual charger plugged into it. It reset the chip on it. Basically that chip is a um, safety measure on there. And like I said, if things go awry, it turns itself off. But this is the way to turn it back on. And I'm so happy that I got that battery working. So now I'll be able to rebuild this one here. And we'll do a 4,000 milliamp battery. This is the 3500. We will do the uh, 4000 milliamp battery. Now it'll give us 33 watt hours there. So yeah. So one thing I have to do is on that battery pack is just kind of close it up, put just a tack of a uh, super glue on it just to keep it from popping loose in that one corner. That Everything else sticks down fine. It's just that one corner. Because when I opened it up originally I was a little rough with on that corner of it and kind of messed that uh, connect the part that uh, is inside the battery, the little tab in there. But yeah guys, um, and like I said, this is great being able to have this uh, mobile again. Um, it's really cool. I am uh, so glad that uh, we did that. And like I said in my last video, we had a heck of a time getting that 9.1 on it. It was a nightmare. I'm going to uh, take and try to put 9.2 on this. I will not do that on camera, but we'll just try it. And uh, this one, I do have to run the virtual memory on it. I mentioned earlier that I was going to try to speed this up a little bit, and I have speeded it up a little bit. I turned the memory check off of it, turn that off. There's a little code that you can put in there to do that. And then um, also, uh, but I do have to run the virtual memory on this thing. Um, it just doesn't have enough memory, because this only has uh, 32 meg of memory. And uh, it's expandable at 264 uh, meg. But I'm running, since I have uh, the uh, CF card in there, I have uh, a lot of memory. So um, I give it another 100 uh, megabytes of uh, memory. So uh, that's plenty of memory for this machine. So I'm very happy. Um, like I said, I'm, I'm glad I got this guy uh, running. Also, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to uh, permanently modify this uh hard drive module in here. Right now I have the floppy drive module in there, but you know I have that ROM drive module and it just doesn't want to read the disk. So I kind of took it apart a little bit and kind of blew the air out. There was a bunch of junk in it and it, that helped a little bit. Like I said on that earlier video, I'd actually had taken that uh, module out I had another, um, it was a super drive, it was a combo drive. And uh, so basically I was able to, this isn't the actual case, this is the floppy drive case, but basically I just took the module, put it, uh, the, or I'm sorry, I took the module case apart, took the ROM drive out. The other one actually fits right in there because it's the same footprint. It's just that only one screw lines up and that was just holding the thing in so I could plug it in to see if it worked and it worked. A um, little noisy, but it worked. I'm thinking I'm going to try to just maybe even possibly pick up even... Uh, I have a, even a newer one. I'll try a newer one to see if it'll work in there. Because yeah, I have a lot of slot loads, but I don't have many... Uh, tra I only have that one tray loader. So I just might uh, leave the combo drive in it if I can uh, get it to work properly. Because like I said, uh, I would have to take the door off of it, put that other door on it, 
and uh, and you know because that one's got a button on it and stuff and so uh, there's a little difference in the build on it so I might even just try to shop around and see if I can find a, a, a combo drive to uh, to work in that and just adapt it to put it in the module and put it in there and it'll be a more modern ROM drive in it like I said guys um, I, I showed you from point A to point B how to rebuild one of these things um, all the issues I went with it but now that I know what I know now the next time will be half the time and uh, we'll be able to reset that chip on there after you do the battery build and you can see this thing is doing really good it's um, you know it's hanging in there and it's got the correct time and date on it um, I do have a, a new lithium backup battery pack ordered for this um, they still make them uh, new lithium battery and they're a, basically they're a dry cell type so they don't ooze all over the inside of the inners if they ever go bad because they're just powder um, or, or like the older ones were uh, liquid and uh, what we'll do to show you that again that this is not smoke and mirrors let me just uh, zoom out here try and get this lined up here what we're going to do is I'm going to take and um, we're going to turn this we're going to do a restart we're going to do a reset on it here so we're going to restart it back up here and you got the little happy Mac there and it's booting up to 9.1 And again, this is the PowerBook 1400 CS 166 megahertz model. And it would be nice to find one of those little uh, Sonnet G3 upgrade cards. I'd be curious if it'll work in this. I know in the 117 it'll work because it doesn't have built-in cache on it, but um, be curious to see if it works on this. Just pull the daughter board out, put the new, put that new uh, Sonnet chip on there, and uh, be a G3, and G3 on it. Well, then we'd probably be able to get uh, OS 10 on it. And you can see it's still loading up. might change the wallpaper back there too and sorry for the uh, refresh rate on that there it, it it what you see in the camera is not what you see on there but it's still loading up there there's the desktop loading up and then the bar will load up down at the bottom here in just a second here there we go and we're good we're all up and running. Let's see here. This is really hard to do left handed here. Uh, let's go about this Mac. And it tells you the specs on it there. Meg of memory. We have 103 megabyte of, of uh, virtual memory using on it, and then we have uh, quite a bit of uh, unused uh, storage on the uh, CF card. I tell you, it's quiet without a hard drive. There's no fan or no hard drive in it. Yeah, guys, this has definitely been a success. I am really happy, and uh, I'm just very, uh, very thrilled that it uh, finally got this thing working. I was really, uh, like I said, I was really getting disappointed all the time I put in it, and it just wasn't working. 
And again, sorry guys, I, I'm trying to look at this from the side here. There we go. We will shut this down. And it uh, takes a little time before, there it goes, now it's shut down. There we go. And we'll close it. And again, there's the battery right here. Right there. And like I said, I just have to get this to close all the way here and it'll slide right in and everything else seals up real good. I'm, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna close, get this to close all the way up. I just gotta clean, there's a little, there's some stuff in there keeping it from closing and uh, we'll get it to close and then we'll seal it up and then we'll consider this one done. And then we will move on and do the next one. And I'll have two batteries. So basically my final thoughts on this is, you know, um, it doesn't scare me to work on things. You know, I, I've, I've always been a field tech working on automated printing equipment for years and I have electronics background but you know um, I don't know everything I'm always learning stuff you forget stuff so much has changed since the time that I went to electronics school many years ago and um, but you know it's great that we have uh, a lot of people out there that like YouTube and like tech and share tech with everybody I like sharing it with everybody things that I learn mods that I try to do I really try to help everybody out out there and uh, but yeah um, but my final thoughts is you know what you can't buy these anymore I'm not seeing any places that sell them and if you don't have any problem taking things apart then try it yourself I mean um, you know everybody has their own limitations don't be afraid to experiment okay do it out in your garage, that way if it catches on fire, uh, hey, you can douse some water on it, you know? Don't do it on your kitchen table. That's what I do out here, I work on this thing out in my garage. But, uh, yeah, um, the only thing that that I wish I hadn't done was take the label off, because actually you don't have to do that to, take, to get to this battery. Uh, again, that's learning experience. But it's stuck on there, it's not beautiful, but it'll work. And, um, like I said, I'm just really happy, so happy that uh, for uh, Tim, for, I'm really happy that Stephen Smythe uh, made that comment on my YouTube video on this and uh, directed me to that website. And again, I'll put the links in there so you guys, if you're doing a battery rebuild, uh, hopefully this is beneficial to you. Um, the total cost to do this, uh, that set of batteries cost uh, $30, I believe it was. That was including shipping and uh, just my time and effort on it. So basically just the materials, I had 30 bucks on it. And you can't even buy them that cheap, you know, a new one. I mean, I did see uh, a while back, uh, there was an outfit, but I don't think they do this. I don't think the company's in business anymore, but they charge like an absorbent amount of money, like uh, 160 or $70 for, for a battery pack, or they do a battery refurbish is what it was. They were doing all kinds of stuff. Yeah, I'm very happy that this worked out. So anyway, guys, um, so my next thing I'm going to be doing is, uh, like I said, I'm going to work on the ROM drive and uh, try to put a, um, on a permanent basis, try to put that slot load optical drive in there, that combo drive. And um, I might do a video on that because that's another way of breathing more life in these machines. That way if you can read CDs and DVDs, hey, you can do it right there on that drive there. So it gives you a lot more flexibility on loading up software and stuff on this guy. And uh, that's probably what I'll do to put the uh, 9.2 on this is I'll swap out that drive again and put 9.2 now that it sees the drive here. Um, won't be a problem. So that's my next project to do that. And then the other thing is that I do want to find more memory for this to max it out to a 64 mega memory. 
we have the 32 in it now, I believe it is. Or 34, I forgot already, I think it was 34. And uh, so that way we get it all maxed out. And that way it just makes it uh, a more usable machine. And like I said, if I ever were to find one of those uh, G3 Sonnet cards, I'd pop for it to see if we could get this thing speeded up. So anyway guys, um, give me a thumbs up if you like this video. I really appreciate all your feedback, all your comments. Uh, please hit the subscribe button and click the bell. I appreciate that. And also you can follow me on Twitter now too. I just uh, signed up on Twitter not too long ago, a couple weeks ago. And uh, it's just another way that uh, you can reach out to me, leave comments. Uh, I can reach out to you and update you guys on videos and, and whatnot. And uh, I do respect all the comments. And we are up to 110 subscribers now. Thanks to everyone that's been subscribing. We, we gain a couple uh, every week and that's fantastic. I appreciate it. Because like I said, we have that fantastic giveaway going on. We're going to have that laptop giveaway combined with the USB Yeti microphone. And that's going to be a sweet deal for somebody to win it. So anyway guys, um, hope you enjoyed this video, have a great rest of your week, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.